Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. My name is Phil and I've lived aboard my narrowboat on the canal system for over 30 years. I share my home with my two cats, Bushka and Midge, and we spend our days travelling around the canal system and making videos. Today I'm continuing my trip up the Ashby Canal, starting off just after Bridge 3, and we'll be ending this trip shortly after Bridge 13, which is just south of Hinkley. So before we go any farther, let's have a look at the map. We start at the yellow marker at the bottom left of the map, and the trip finishes at the yellow marker at the top right of the map. Don't be fooled by all the houses you can see. This canal is actually really quite isolated and very rural throughout. However, the trip end point there is very close to the town of Hinkley. Unfortunately, it's another very grey day for boating. I'm glad I moored in my previous spot close to Bridge 3 because the towpath um, from there to Bedworth was pretty good. However, the state of the towpath up here is extremely muddy. And at this time of year it's like this in many places along this canal.
that's Bridge 5 up ahead. And if you're looking for a shop or a pub, you're best to stop now. Here are some visitor moorings, but they're only on this side of the bridge. You can't moor up on the other side, so be warned. And also it gets pretty busy here in the summer. Let's have a closer look at the map, and I'll show you where the shops and pubs are. As you can see, there's a pub to the right and the left of the canal at Bridge 5. The little shop, the convenience store, that's kind of hidden away in the housing estate, so it's a little bit tricky to find, but it's quite a good little shop. It's no good for mooring along here, it's much too shallow.
That's bridge six up ahead, and it's crossed by the very busy road, the B4114. There's no reason to go up there. It's, it's a very dangerous road, so I don't recommend it. As far as I know, there's no official access to the road from the canal, but someone has smashed the fence down, so you can get up there. It's just that that road is kind of a long way from anywhere useful. You really wouldn't need to go up there anyway. If you want an isolated mooring spot, then right here is quite a good place. However, we are approaching a very sharp 90 degree bend to the left. You need to be careful here in the summer, it's often very busy. You will meet boats coming the other way, and you can't see them till the last minute. And also, it can often be very windy here. This is quite a problem sometimes on this canal. The boats on the right here are all privately moored. Despite its isolation, this is quite a nice place. To the right of these boats, there's lots of fishing lakes. Really quite pretty in the summer, but they're all private, and as far as I know, there's no access. To the right of Bridge 8 is a little village called Burton Hastings. It's very small, there's nothing there, no pub, no shop. On the other side of Bridge 8, we do get a lot of electricity pylons.
if you look on a map of this area, you'll notice that there's a lot of public footpaths crisscrossing the land. Quite a lot of them. I explored a few, and unfortunately they were uh, rather boring. It's just traipsing through open fields and there's not really very much to see. I was hoping to do some more walking videos, but this is not the place for that. The Ashby Canal is a really easy one to do, but the wind can be a problem if it's blowing hard, mainly because we're going through open countryside when there's low hedges, we're very exposed to a westerly which, is, which will push you side on a lot of the time. we come to a very small cutting. The canal has been cut through this low bump in the ground. Luckily no need for a tunnel. And then we approach bridge 13. Close to the end of my trip now there's good moorings a short distance past this bridge. Normally there'll be a few boats moored here. We're not too far away now from Hinkley, and if you were to moor here, then there is a pub within walking distance just a bit farther down the canal called the Lime Kilns. But right here will do nicely for me and the boys. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this little trip. In the next video, we'll go through Hinkley. But until then, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.